Hey, what's up guys? It's iPod Touch Helping here today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak the official 4.0 firmware on your iPod Touch 2G MB model only, so not the MC model, so I'll get into that in a second, and the iPhone 3G. So first of all, if you have an iPod Touch 2G, you're going to want to go into Settings, and then you're going to want to go into General, and then click About, and you're going to want to make sure Model says MB something, not MC something. So that's the first thing, iPod Touch 2nd Gen and uh, iPhone 3G, uh, if you rely on a carrier unlock, this is not recommended that you guys update to 4.0 yet, but you can do it. So uh, yeah, this, we're going to get right into this. This does activate the iPhone 3G, so you can go out and unlock it with Ultra Snow as well. So first things first, what you're going to need, you're going to need 4.0 firmware already installed in your iPod or iPhone, so you're going to go on to iTunes. And uh, you're going to want to click check for updates. And then you're going to want to update your iPod to 4.0. But to update your iPod to 4.0, you will need iTunes 9.2. So that's another thing you will need. Um, and then once you have updated to the official 4.0 firmware on your iPod Touch, what you guys are going to want, or iPhone 3G, you guys are going to want to go over here. You can just minimize iTunes. And then you're going to open up Red Snow, which I'm going to show you guys where to download that. And um, so all the links, guys, will be in the video description. You're going to click Browse. And now you're going to get the last thing that you down need to download the 4.0 uh, official firmware that you guys will need to download so you guys can upload it to Red Snow. So you're going to want to browse and find that IPSW file, the official 4.0 file that you guys downloaded for your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G. So here it is. It says, is this an MC model? And I'm going to say no because it's an MB model. And then I'm going to click Next. Now, uh, on my iPod, I have actually done this jailbreak already. So um, I'm not going to actually click Install Cydia, but I will do everything. So you guys are going to do the exact same thing as me, except for you guys are going to install Cydia. So what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that top one, Install Cydia, is checked off. But I'm unchecking it. You guys keep it checked. I'm going to check off for Vose Boot. You guys don't have to. And you guys should definitely enable multitasking and enable home screen wallpaper and enable battery percentage. Those are pretty much must-haves. I like all those. So uh, once you have done that, what you guys are going to want to do is click Next. So just simply click Next. And now what you guys are going to want to do is make sure your iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G are fully powered off. So hold the power button and turn it off. Now once it is fully off, like 100% off, like mine is right now, you guys can click next and you're going to have to get ready to hold down the power button for three seconds I believe, then hold down them both for 10, the home and power button, and then release and hold the home button for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to click next and start holding the power button. One, zero. I'm going to hold down both buttons. As you guys can see right now, I have Verbose Boot running right now. So you guys will not get that yet. Uh, so don't expect to have Verbose Boot going on. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to actually do it this time, but I forgot that I uh, enabled Verbose Boot there uh, on the last jailbreak I just did. So here it is right here. Once you get this white screen, you can release the home button. And it's going to do its thing. It's just waiting for the reboot. And there it is, downloading jailbreak data. So uh, it's just going to do its thing. It does take a little bit. So I'm going to get uh, tell you guys what you guys need again. So you need an iTunes 9.2 so you can update to 4.0 software or firmware. Uh, you will need to download Red Snow so you can do the jailbreak. And, of course, you will also need to um, download the 4.0 firmware for the iPod Touch 2G or the iPhone 3G with the links in the video description so you can put them here on Red Snow. So I'm just going to cut you guys off here and I'll get back to you when it's almost done. So after it says downloading jailbreak firmware you should get a screen that looks like this and it's just going to keep on uh, jailbreaking your iPod and yeah that or your iPhone as well and uh, so just keep on going through this guys. And then right after you guys do um, 
see that little jailbreak screen with the pineapple you should be able to your iPod will reboot and then you can uh, enable multitasking just like that and everything should be working good for you guys so thanks for watching guys hopefully you guys did like this video uh, it took me a while to figure out how to download all the right firmwares and stuff like that so I did this for you guys and I'll catch you guys later this was iPod touch helping